The average Pittsburgh public school is nearly 65 years old. Other schools elsewhere older than that. Allegheny County Health Director Karen Hacker says lead is everywhere. It's time that Pennsylvanians woke up to the fact that we are surrounded by lead in a whole variety of our issues of infrastructure. Recognize that and protect our children. Today, this group of activists is trying to turn a failing grade as it relates to Pennsylvania's policy regarding lead in schools into a good one. It coincides with legislation in Harrisburg introduced today. Currently, Pennsylvania does not require lead testing in schools and does not require districts to tell parents the results when they do. House Bill 930 would require both of those and create a statewide standard of five parts per billion. These advocates say this doesn't have to be an overly expensive proposition. We think of pipes being replaced and we think of roads being ripped up and walls being ripped out. However, fountains like these, they cost 1500 bucks. They have great lead filters built into them. These advocates telling us that getting these in schools could be an effective first step. Between these fountains, replacing some pipes, adding filters and shutting access to old faucets in schools, there's a cost but one speakers today feel is worth it. We think that this is so important and so critical for children's health that it should be included in the regular maintenance budget for any school district. Given that lead exposure can lead to neurological issues in children, public health experts like Karen Hacker say it's time for laws that make schools keep parents in the loop and students safe. I think part of what we're all trying to do now is to increase the awareness here in Pennsylvania. As you know, we're the only county right now that even requires universal testing.